going to take it, and we're not going to stand for it, damn it. You remember this? Passionate opposition from Sweetwater Union High School District teachers and staff last week, just before the board voted to make budget cuts that are expected to leave hundreds of staff members without a job. The teachers are now saying they're going to take a stand again today. Ted News anchor Mary McKenzie live at East Lake High School. And Mary, this is one of several pushes to get the board to change their mind. We heard from students yesterday. We also heard from parents today. It's the teacher's turn. I did have a chance to speak with some of those teachers last week. They were saying the mood on some of the campuses within the district was just really somber last week after this passed. Today it will be a chance to have their voices heard once again. They're getting rid of the people that we connect with and they just want to rip those people away from us. Students at eight high schools and two middle schools in Chula Vista spent part of their day protesting the new proposed budget for Sweetwater Union High School District. The school system is $30 million in the hole and the plan they voted on last week would lay off nearly 240 teachers and staff members and close 12 learning centers. The district has said that the shortfall is not caused by mismanagement, but rather declining funding and enrollment. Many people are angry though that just 7% of the layoffs in this new budget would come from management. While teacher salaries range from 52 to $117,000, compare that with the superintendent who took home $257,000 in 2018. Now, yesterday, parents were saying the plan just simply does not put kids first, which is, after all, the district motto. The pink slips will go out to these teachers and staff members. We expect sometime early this month. They're hoping some of those could be rescinded and protests like the one that will happen here in just about an hour. Uh, of course, the goal would be to make some of those uh, layoffs not happen after all. They have some time before ultimately they have to make those decisions. So again, that would come in May. So we'll look for teachers out here about 7 o'clock this morning. We're live in Eastlake. Mary McKenzie, 10 News. Mary, thank you.